Hello everybody. Today I wanted to give you an update on the store that I launched a little over six months ago, Motherfunker. I wanted to tell you how it's doing, what the pain points are, what my learning has been in this experience, and then kind of wrap it up on where I plan to go with it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like my content, it helps me keep making the videos. So let's dig into it. I launched this store to be completely fully automated. For about six months, it's been open, and for three, well, four of those months, I ran ads on Google and YouTube. I ran ads specifically to singular products instead of just my website in general. So just to give you an idea, I made 3300 on my worst month, and then my best month, it was more like 4800 give or take. Out of that, I have 100% markup, so 2400 of my best month, poo, cost of my items. Then, for the joy of running ads, I had to spend twelve to 1500 bucks, and I believe on that month it was 1200 bucks. So we're dealing with 1000 or less profit, and then came the returns. What happened? People are complaining that the items are not matching what the image looks like. It seems to be affecting, see this big hoodie right here? That's specifically in my AI prompt is the word glowing. And a lot of what is being returned are the items that I ran ads to that were glowing. Why is this happening? Well, the whole point of this store was to be fully automated, right? So I didn't order proofs, which is kind of my mistake. Like if you're really serious about launching a shop with items that are kind of this intricate and detailed, you might want to order proofs before you just pull the trigger on it. This particular store idea doesn't necessarily fit well with the fully automated lubed experience that I wanted this to be. And the way I handled all of these, I just issued refunds. I didn't do returns. When I went into this, I was expecting things like size issues or just preference problems. And it turns out to be they just weren't happy with some of the product. And a customer gave me a great idea. That idea was they expected it to be UV reactive. And they were very disappointed when it was not UV reactive at all, which light bulb moment, where do I find a print on demand provider that also deals with UV inks? If any of you guys know one out there, man, give me a comment, let me know. At this point, I think that that's the only way I can save that particular product line. Until then, I'm not gonna run ads to it and I'm kind of putting them on the back burner. All the other clothes that I sold, like stuff like this, that doesn't have any kind of glowing and it isn't so hard to reproduce, these things, I can assume, came out looking great because they just did not get returned. Simple as that. Going back to the drawing board, I need to decide, do I really wanna mess with this glowing thing and find a provider? If I can't find a print on demand provider, then I'm probably gonna scrap that particular product line and just not go with it because it'll be too much work for me to make relationships, order stock. This whole thing wasn't designed to be an order stocking you know, type thing. I'm gonna put the glowing stuff on the back burner, see if I can find a way to do it and still keep it automated. And then in the meantime, I think I'm going to try to devise a new store with Wonder, maybe something that's a little bit easier to pull off, like flat 2D graphics, sticking to a very two-tone kind of a color scheme. Let's pop on over to the Wonder website and check out some of what they've done. And why I'm going here is I kind of want to point out that the designs that I've chosen might be uniquely hard to pull off the way I was trying to do it. If you look at some of the stuff that they have on the Wonder website, I don't have much doubt that this stuff is going to come out just fine without much issue because you're dealing with very flat 2D things and not very much complexity there. And I can even see that I don't know if they've done this deliberately, but we're dealing with the color scheme that's like two, three colors max. Please understand, I'm not saying that you can't do all over prints and have complex colors with a lot of gradient and things like that, but you do need to be kind of mindful of the fact that on most of our modern displays, we're seeing a color presentation that is millions of colors the entire spectrum. The print-on-demand provider has limited inks, and their color palette looks a lot more like this. So when you have designs like what I'm trying to produce, sometimes it's going to be necessary to get some proofs to make sure that your designs are actually coming out the way you want them to be. So what I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks, I'm going to be testing ads pointing to different products that are not the glowing products to see if I can get some traction on those. 
while at the same time trying to find a UV compatible print on demand provider so that I can rescue that product line. It really does look sweet. It just needs to be a little bit better. I'm going to pop over to my main website. I don't know if you guys have been there in a while. I added something new yesterday that I've been working on for a few weeks. I've had on my website for some time a chatbot called Digital Morton. Digital Morton was GPT 3.5. He was pretty good, pretty good, but you know, not the perfect employee. Digital Morton 2.0 is totally different. He's running on GPT 4 and he's trained on all the platforms that I've been teaching you on YouTube. I'm going to make my next video all about Digital Morton and I'm going to run through both the training process and then seeing if I can break him. Um.